Hello everyone. In last video we talked about voice over internet protocol. Today we are going to talk about mobile internet protocol. Mobile IP is a standard communication protocol that allows the users to move from one network to another network with the same IP address. It ensures that the communication will continue without users connection being dropped. Mobile IP is an open standard defined by the Internet Engineering Task Force. Mobile IP is an extension of IP protocol. Basically, mobile IP enables laptop and computers to be connected to the internet while maintaining an existing connection and same IP address as they move from link to link. In a simple IP protocol, the device must obtain a new IP address and lose existing connection every time it changes its point of attachment. Let's break it down into further details. In IP networks, routing is based on stationary IP addresses similar to a postal letter. For example, a letter is delivered to the fixed address which is mentioned on the envelope. A device on a network is reachable through normal IP routing by the IP address. It is assigned on the network and there is no issue. But the problem occurs when a device moves away from its home network and is no longer reachable using normal IP routing. This is where mobile IP comes in. Mobile IP was created to enable users to keep the same IP address while traveling to a different network and continued communication without losing connection. Let's talk about the components of mobile IP. Mobile node. It is the handheld communication device that the user carries, for example, mobile phone. Home network. It is a network to which the mobile node originally belongs to. Home agent. It is a router in home network to which the mobile node was originally connected. Home address. It is the permanent IP address assigned to the mobile node. Foreign network. It is the current network to which the mobile node is visiting. Foreign agent. It is a router in foreign network to which mobile node is currently connected. Correspondent node. It is a device on the network communicating to the mobile node. Care of address. It is the temporary address used by a mobile node while it is moving away from its home network. Mobile IP process has three main phases. First one is agent discovery. Agents advertise their presence by periodically broadcasting their agent advertisement messages. The mobile node receiving the agent advertisement messages observes whether the message is from its own home agent and determines whether it is in the home network or foreign network. Second one is agent registration. Mobile node after discovering the foreign agent sends registration request to the foreign agent. Foreign agent in return sends the registration request to the home agent with care of address. Home agent sends the registration reply to the foreign agent and then it forwards the registration reply to the mobile node and completes the process of registration. Last one is tunneling. In this phase, mobile IP establish a virtual pipe for the packets available between a tunnel entry and endpoint. It is the process of sending a packet via a tunnel and it is achieved by a mechanism called encapsulation. It takes place to forward an IP datagram from home agent to the care of address. Whenever home agent receives a packet from correspondent node, it encapsulates the packet with source address as home address and destination as care of address. Let's see how mobile IP works. Working of mobile IP is very simple. For example, let's say correspondent node sends data to the mobile node. Data packets contain correspondent node, source and destination address. Packets reaches to the home agent. But now mobile node is not in the home network. It has moved into the foreign network. Foreign agent sends the care of address to the home agent to which all the packets should be sent. Now a tunnel will be established between the home agent and foreign agent by the process of tunneling. We have already discussed what is tunneling. Now home agent 
encapsulate data packets into a new packet in which the source address is the home address and destination is the care of address and home agent sends it through the tunnel to the foreign agent foreign agent on the other side of the tunnel receives the data packets decapsulate them and send them to the mobile node mobile node in response to the data packets received sends a reply to the foreign agent and then foreign agent directly sends the reply to the correspondent node this is how mobile ip operates security in mobile ip mobile ip uses a strong authentication system for security purposes like mobile home authentication extension mobile foreign authentication extension foreign home authentication extension mobile ip also supports hash based message authentication code and message digest algorithm md5 all right that wraps up today's video thanks for watching please subscribe see you in the next video